What's going on guys, man? I am Pryoxys and I am back with another video, man. And we're being going to, I'm like, I was uh, going to do multiple fights with Justin Gaethje, but I didn't have enough time to go against Habibs. I exclusively wanted to fight Habibs. And I found, I found that this isn't the perfect fight, but I like exposing people that like to exploit the game. You know how I do. So we're going against this guy and the thing that he exploits is the get you in a clinch, double uppercut into a, uh, I mean, double knee to the head into the uppercut as you exit the clinch. That's basically a glitch and you take full damage. This guy, he was playing legit at the beginning, you know? And then, like at most other high level players, once they start losing and getting beat up, they go back to their roots. And, and that's exploiting. So. Start to fight off, man. You know, I've been touching him up a little bit. Playing an outside game. This guy really didn't shoot many takedowns. But that's my that's not my fault. That's his. He kind of wanted to strike more with Habib. And I really don't understand why guys do strike as much as they do with Habib. Honestly, you should rest him more. You should strike a little bit. Don't get me wrong. But people throw too many strikes, you know. And, I mean, just take it to the mats. That's where Habib's strong is at. Or strength is at. But... Don't spam takedowns. Don't be that guy that literally just spams takedowns. And you see he rocks me here. I'm trying to use a little head movement, but oh man. I fought a Conor McGregor before this and uh he beat me again. I wanted to fight only Habibs. I really wanted to fight Habibs. Um But I fought a Conor McGregor before this and oh my goodness, I was beating his A word. And he just like literally walks me down, block breaks me, rocks me, and then knocks me down into the ground and pound finish. It was it was astounding. It was a, honestly astounding. But whatever. Uh, question for everybody out there, man. Who do you guys have? Also, if you go to my community tab, you will see that I have uh, something there that says um, where well, you can vote a poll. Habib or Justin Gaethje, and I believe uh, Habib's winning by a significant amount, maybe like 60 to 40 percent on the end of Habib. But I'm interested to see, like, in the comment section of who you guys got in this fight, and also how does it finish? Does it finish with the decision, a TKO, or flash KO? Maybe Justin Gaethje catches Habib with a with something wild. But me personally, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how. Justin Gaethje is going to be Habib because I look at it like this. I know you don't want to do the MMA math, but if Conor McGregor, the elite striker that he is, can't really mess with Habib on the feet because how dangerous his takedown and ground game is, and Dustin Poirier as well. Like Dustin Poirier is a very good striker. From my, uh, Dustin Poirier beat Justin Gaethje. Now I'm not trying to play the MMA game, no, but. I'm just saying how clean those guys as are as far as boxes. Let me skip ahead of this and go back. All right, there we go. As clean as those guys are as boxers, they they couldn't really with Habib. Like, I just don't see Gaethje beating him. Now, I know some people are going to be like the leg kick. So if you go back and watch Habib versus Edson Barboza, even Edson Barboza, he watched him. But Habib versus Edson Barboza, right? Edson was kicking the out of out of Habib's legs, bro. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but Habib was kind of like walking through them, and uh, he's just a different breed. Now, I don't, I'm not really sure how many kicks he threw on Habib, but I know Habib was kind of walking through them and just got him to the mat and completely mauled him. Like this is the thing about Habib. Every fighter has a game plan, you know, like. Justin Gaethje, uh, we all expected, you know, Justin Gaethje to have an all-out war, you know, with Tony Ferguson. And it wasn't that. He literally took Tony Ferguson and completely just outclassed him on the feet. Like, this was a Justin Gaethje we never seen before with the striking. But we didn't, we didn't expect that. We didn't expect... Uh, Brian Ortega to come out and do what he did to Korean Zombie. We didn't expect that striking, but we didn't we didn't expect and Korean Zombie didn't. I'm pretty sure he didn't camp to fight this type of striker that he fought in Ortega. 
And I say that saying that we all know what Habib wants to do. Every fighter that has fought Habib knows exactly what he wants to do, what he's trying to do. And it never works. It literally doesn't work. Michael Johnson, Schmidt, Rafael Dos Anjos. Had to get a moment of silence for my boy, Rafael. Smashed. Dustin Poirier, smashed. Uh, Edson Barboza, smashed. Conor McGregor, smashed. Like, the, all these guys got smashed. And I just don't see anything different with Justin Gaethje. I want Justin to win. I honestly do. But I don't want Habib to get knocked out. I want, I want it to be maybe a decision loss. But, I mean, the way Justin Gaethje fights, like... If he wins, high chance that it's by knockout or by TKO. But I just don't see it, man. I don't like and um another thing is a lot of guys say, oh, Justin Gaethje has a good gas tank. And I was talking about this in my stream last night, and I'm I'm like, Justin Gaethje, a good gas tank? No. Justin, if you go back and watch his fight. I'm not sure what round, if it was the second or the end of the third versus Dustin Poirier, he was gassed. Like, he was, I won't say completely gassed, but you could see obvious, you know, obvious fatigue. And I don't, I don't, hold on, he knocked, he grounds and pounds me here. I almost got finished. I would have probably got finished, but round ended, luckily. And, uh, well, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, against Dustin Poirier. Against Dustin Poirier, he was... He was, I feel like he was gas. If you go back, just go back and watch that fight. <clears throat> um, Justin Gaethje versus Dustin Poirier. And, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And one round, one round, look at this right here. Look at this right there. That's where he did it. He did double. And I actually survived here, but he did the, he did the double, um, double knee into the uppercut as I try to exit the clinch and knock me down. Now, to EA's defense i don't believe that's in the game anymore i'm playing on xbox i would play on playstation but i want to play high competition and i believe i'm not a very high division fighter in uh in playstation so i wanted to do uh xbox and for some reason playstation got an, uh, some update and xbox didn't i don't know why now he tried to exploit again as you see there i just backed up to the fence and he threw two knees that's fine. But anyways, um, I don't even know what I was saying, bro. I really don't. I, but back on it, I just don't, man. I, I, if you guys, if you guys have some sort of inside information as far as Justin Gaethje's style that that is a suit to beat Habib, then let me know. But I just, I think after one round of wrestle and smish. That Justin Gaethje is going to be gassed, fatigued. He's going to show obvious signs of, of being tired. Now, I know Justin Gaethje's mindset says, I'm going to try to either die or kill this man. That's Justin Gaethje's kind of mindset. But I don't think it's going to... That mindset is in your mind. Your body's going to, <laughs> going to do a totally different thing. And you see here, he tries to do the uppercut thing again. Now, he spent me because I, so I wouldn't back up to the K. I'm going to tell you exactly why he spent me there. I'm actually going to go back. I don't really go back on my showcases, but I'm going to go back and show you, tell you exactly why he spinned me. Now, he threw two knees, right, and he spinned me. That way, I couldn't back up to the cage, and I would have to exit the clinch right here, and he would be able to throw the uppercut. Now, for some reason, he did the takedown trying to get me to the ground. Probably shot the ground and pound me, but that right there is why he spinned me. But here we go. God, man, it's like the people exploiting this game. It's it's like, yeah, it's it's sad, bro. It's honestly sad, the, the amount of people that exploit this game. And then and the high-level players and, and known players. And I, I don't really know this guy, but he has, what, like 1,800 points, 1,900? Pretty decent points, Division 19 or Division 18. But he, he shows no actual skill. Like, this guy shows no fight IQ. No game knowledge besides how to basically exploit and throw strikes. You know, I, I I know skill when I see skill. I know setups. I know, you know, players. But 
a lot of these players, I don't see an actual skill. I don't see anything significant shown about these players. You know, if you go and watch um, my, um, I highly recommend you guys go back and watch my Israel Adesanya showcase and watch the guy that um, his name is Dino MMA, and he uses um, what's his name? Ezra Adesanya. I just said the showcase. He used Ezra Adesanya, and it was an amazing showcase. It was an amazing showcase with Israel Adesanya. And you watch me use Izzy, and then you watch him use Izzy. We have two different styles, but it was just so clean fighting. But when I fight Dino, I I'm, I feel his style. I, I He feels different fighting these other, like a lot of these other players that literally, you know, the same, they have the same combos, the same strikes, the same game plans you know it's 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 just so hard meta in a game that shouldn't be hard meta focused on one thing because it's mixed martial arts but that's that's because the state of the game man it, it's it's so stale it is very stale and it's it's sad man it's sad like it's very sad and he rocks me here Tried to throw a kick. Man, he tried to throw that kick up top, I believe. But I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure he tried to throw that kick up top because he wanted to like jab cross head kick me essentially, but it was a slow down version. But man, I'm look at my head off. His his blinking. <laughs> I am getting beat up. Go rock him here, boom, boom. And now it, it's trouble because I'm I'm kind of seeing blood because I'm like. I was already, I, I stopped touching this glove, like, I, I don't, like, I touch people's glove, but this man doing that uppercut thing, it, it tilts me, it doesn't tilt me to where I play different like that, like I'm mad, but it like tilts me, like, I, I don't, I show you no respect, I show you no respect when you do game breaking glitches, when you do, when you exploit something you know that's a problem, I don't show no respect to it, boom, I knocked him out, man. I knocked him out clean. And this is the only fight, man. This is going to be the only fight in this Justin Gaethje showcase, okay? Well, maybe I'll give you guys another. If Justin Gaethje wins, I'll give you guys another Justin Gaethje showcase. But I will only do that if this video can get 300 likes. 300 likes, guys. Hit the like button. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Another player, man. Another explorer. Another high-level player gets assaulted but yo with that being said be sure to subscribe guys if you have not hit the like button turn on them post notifications now, i i i say this and i guarantee you probably still didn't turn them on turn on post notifications man if you haven't i'm prioxis and i'm out peace